2024 BMW F900GS, elevating the standard in adventure motorcycling. The adventure bike market is ablaze with excitement as new models flood in every year. While Yamaha's Tenera 700 and KTM 790-890 adventure models have long held sway in the middleweight ADV category, contenders like Aprilia's Touareg 660, Honda's XL750 Transalp, Suzuki's V-Strom 800, and Triumph's Tiger 900 are sparking a reconsideration among riders. BMW, with nearly two decades of experience in midweight ADVs, has been a steady presence. Despite the overshadowing of its F800GS by its larger boxer-powered siblings, the recent acclaim for the R1300GS has set the stage for their latest offering. Enter the 2024 F900GS, poised to shine a brighter light on BMW's rejuvenated middleweight platform. Following extensive road and off-road trials, it's evident that this is BMW's finest parallel twin adventure bike yet. So, what's the scoop on the new model? Quite a bit, actually. The F850's engine has been bumped up to 895 cubic centimeters, delivering 105 horsepower, a 10 horsepower boost from its predecessor. Gone are the cast pistons, replaced by larger forged ones. Moreover, shedding 31 pounds, the F900GS now tips the scales at 483 pounds with a full 3.8-gallon tank. A switch from steel to plastic in the fuel cell trims about 10 pounds, and a new Acropovic muffler slices off another 3.7 pounds. The lower tail section accounts for a further 5-pound reduction, while the trellis steel frame remains unchanged. Beyond shedding weight, the F900GS boasts a sleeker and more refined profile compared to its F850 predecessor. Not only does it appear more compact, but its design language also exudes modernity, complemented by full LED lighting and rear turn signals doubling as brake lights. The F900GS comes generously equipped in its standard configuration, starting at $13,495. Included are essential features like a 6-axis IMU, offering rain and road riding modes, alongside ABS Pro and dynamic traction control. The package also boasts a vibrant 6.5-inch TFT display with smartphone integration, handguards, heated grips, an adjustable aluminum shift lever, and self-canceling turn signals. Enhancements to the 900 suspension are notable, featuring a fully adjustable 43mm Showa fork paired with a 21-inch front wheel. The rear damper offers adjustable preload and rebound damping, housed within a slightly lighter aluminum swing arm. With 9.1 inches of travel in the front and 8.5 inches in the rear, the seat height stands at 34.3 inches, with an optional low seat reducing it to 32.9 inches. BMW also offers a street-oriented F800GS, priced at $10,495, featuring an 895 cubic centimeters engine delivering 87 horsepower. Unfortunately, this model wasn't available for testing. Similarly, the adventure version of the F900GS, starting at $14,890, wasn't tested either. It includes a larger 6.1-gallon fuel tank, dynamic ESA, a luggage rack, and an aluminum bash plate. For those inclined towards customization, BMW offers a range of enticing options. Ride Modes Pro unlocks Dynamic, Enduro, and Enduro Pro modes, along with engine drag torque control for variable engine braking. The Premium Package, at an additional $1,750, incorporates Ride Modes Pro, keyless ignition, an up-slash-down quickshifter, tire pressure monitoring, cruise control, and the durable M endurance chain. Off-road enthusiasts may find the $1,495 Enduro Pro package appealing, featuring Ride Modes Pro, fully adjustable suspension, the M endurance chain, and a taller handlebar tailored for comfortable stand-up riding. Additional optional equipment encompasses protective bars, windscreens available in various sizes, adjustable seats for both higher and lower positions, intelligent emergency call functionality, and a comprehensive range of luggage options. In a Spanish adventure, BMW graciously hosted us in Malaga, Spain, for a test ride of the F900GS. Interestingly, we found ourselves lodged in the same hotel where Triumph had launched their Tiger 900 just two months prior, offering a unique comparison opportunity in the southeastern Spanish terrain. 
Our morning ride commenced on Sao Paulo yellow iterations of the F900GS, adding a touch of passion, style at an extra $275 to the base model, which comes in black. Equipped with additional options, our bike's price tags reached $16,215. The F900's parallel twin engine emits a distinctive rumble through its new Acropovic muffler. With crankshaft journals offset by 90 degrees, it creates a firing interval akin to a 90-degree V-twin. Dual counterbalancers, positioned in front of and behind the crankshaft, effectively mitigate vibrations. The responsiveness of this revitalized engine is notably improved, delivering smooth power from as low as 2,000 RPM and culminating in a robust mid-range thrust, aided by revised final drive gearing. Torque peaks at 68.6 lbfd at 6,750 rpm, with power hitting its zenith of 105 horsepower at 8,500 rpm. In comparison, Triumph's upgraded 888 cubic centimeters three-cylinder engine in the Tiger 900 generates 106.5 horsepower, while KTM's acclaimed 890 parallel twin churns out 103.6 horsepower. It's remarkable how closely matched these middleweight ADV engines are. Initially daunted by the relatively tall 34.3-inch seat height compared to my 30-inch inseam, any apprehension dissolved once I settled onto the bike and felt the suspension compress under my weight. Maneuvering through city streets on route to mountain roads was effortless, thanks to a light clutch pull and the convenience of the quick shifter equipped on our bikes. The cockpit of the GS is visually appealing, featuring a striking 6.5-inch color TFT display at the forefront. With smartphone connectivity and intuitive navigation facilitated by BMW's innovative multi-controller wheel on the left grip, accessing information is seamless. Additionally, a 12-volt socket and USB port ensure uninterrupted device charging while on the road. However, during highway cruising, a drawback in the GS became evident. Unlike the adjustable windscreen on the Tiger, the BMW's windscreen lacks adaptability. The accessory screen, taller by 2 inches than the stock version on our test bikes, led to helmet buffeting at higher speeds, with no option for adjustment. Such a feature is essential for any touring-oriented motorcycle. Yet, the GS demonstrated exceptional agility on twisty roads. Although its turn and response may not match the Tiger's due to its more relaxed steering geometry, Characterized by a 28-degree rake and 4.7 inches of trail, the GS compensates with its reduced weight and wide handlebar, facilitating nimble cornering. Despite the slight reduction in sporty front-end feedback attributable to the 21-inch front tire, Bridgestone Batlax Adventure A41, the GS maintains impressive lean angles. Notably, while I could drag foot pegs on the Tiger Rally Pro, I found no such occurrence on the BMW. The long travel suspension of the GS delivered a plush ride over diverse road surfaces, although some riders observed that the shock's rebound damping felt too loose, causing excessive bouncing after encountering bumps. During a coffee break, we collectively adjusted the rebound damping on the shock, resulting in improved control. While the shock's spring preload is adjustable, its compression damping circuit is not. The fully adjustable inverted fork performed admirably, but the brakes on the GS left something to be desired. Despite featuring Brembo calipers up front, they are low-spec two-piston units rather than the more common four-piston calipers found on bikes in this price range. While they provide sufficient stopping power, they fall short of the class's high standards. Nonetheless, the inclusion of cornering ABS as standard equipment is a reassuring safety feature. Throughout our ride, there were ample opportunities to open up the throttle and test the bike's limits. The newfound power of the engine once again left a strong impression, prompting thoughts that a 1, 200, plus, cc engine might be excessive for an adventure bike. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.